Hey gang, Scott here. Quick video for you on making roadways in your desert landscape or any landscape that has a roadway in it to make that road jump out, to pop, really be more prominent in the photo. Uh, because when we have a roadway in a photo, it, it's a natural leading line. We're setting up and using that road to bring our viewer through the scene. Uh, the techniques you're gonna see here, these are things that I cover end to end, top to bottom, you know, uh, in, in immense detail in a new course called Mastering Light and Shadow in Lightroom. It's available now, applies to Lightroom, Lightroom Classic. Honestly, you can apply to Adobe Camera Raw if you use that too. I'm gonna to use Lightroom to show you here, but again, you can use any uh, any of the Adobe tools that are using Camera Raw as their engine, Lightroom Classic or Lightroom. So here's where I am in this photo, it's coming along, and I've done the work on the roadway, where right now it's, it's kind of washed out, it's a little uh, bluish, honestly. Uh, you know, it happens with uh, desert roadways, they get, they get washed out, they get pounded by the sun all day long. And then afterward, just deepening it, making it richer and stronger. And there are several different attack plans or approaches we could use to, to get this type of look, and let's just go through one of them right now. I'll turn that off, we'll create a new mask. I'll start with landscape. Let this go off, look at the photo, figure out the landscape, uh, because I'm expecting it's gonna find natural ground. All right, we found sky, mountains, vegetation, and artificial ground, not natural ground. I said natural, I meant artificial. Uh, and that's a great start. It's, um, it's mostly good. There's a couple little squiggles in the middle that uh, might need to brush away. We'll grab that, we'll create the mask. And that's our, that's our starting point, right? Great, we've got this roadway here. Now, I only want to affect really uh, the, the asphalt. That yellow line in the middle, that double yellow line, I don't want that to get downplayed. I actually want that to be a little more you know, vibrant uh, and I don't want to say darken it or dim it. So uh, next step is to let's say subtract and we'll do a color range. There's our color range and we'll just kind of get on top of that yellow line, little squiggle. Say great, remove that line. And that's pretty darn close. Fade it a little bit here, no problem. We'll just back off the range of that color range mask, and I'm watching the photo as I do this. Uh, right around there is pretty good. And then finally, uh, it looks like we got a little bit of, little manual brush work to do, a little subtraction of the brush. We'll just kind of take that stuff out over here, take this out over there, and then um, if I shrink my brush down with my bracket key, that little strip that's inside here. I won't spend the time painstakingly do it, but you get the idea, take all that away. Great, I've got my roadway selected. What are the uh, adjustments we're gonna do here? In light, we'll take exposure down. I'll push it down far, you can see what's happening. Bring it back to something reasonable. There is this bluish cast in here, so we got a couple of choices. In color, we can take our saturation down. Not bad. Uh, we also have the curves, where's my curves? Where did my curves hide? Up here, point curve. And we have our blue channel. We can see about shifting that a little bit warmer. So taking some of the blue out of the roadway, really far, backing it off so that we're, we're dimming that down. I think I prefer what was going on with saturation there. So pull saturation a little bit more. And then in the uh, effects area, we can do clarity, we can do texture adding that in, and I think I'll go back and even revisit light and deepen that a little bit more. So now we're getting the road pop before and after. So that is a technique, right? You know, just use the masking tools to do that selection. Uh, in this case, I could have gone with the color range first and say, give me the bluish tones of the asphalt and then remove other things like the sky or any of the background mountains. However you want to approach to isolating the particular element that you want to accentuate, masking tools are gonna to make that pretty easy, pretty approachable, then get into your adjustments tune them and tweak them the way you need. Hope you found the video useful. Questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.